These guys make sure the wells are working at maximum capacity and the steam flows to places like Bottle Rock Energy. Here they take the steam in its raw form and convert that into electricity. So Brian, what's inside of this big container is actually this monstrous piece of equipment. What is that? Inside the turbine that you can't see is a rotating assembly. Steam basically is admitted. It's expanded through a stationary blocks that are in between these rotating sections. So the steam comes into it this way and, and goes, goes out that way. This is rotating at uh, 3,600 RPM. And then this will help produce the electricity. It's, it's rotating the generator, which is what's basically producing the electricity. That is incredible. The cooling tower has five cells. The purpose of the cooling tower is essentially to evaporate water to make it cooler so that we can recirculate it. What's all this happening along the back here? Okay, the water that's coming down, essentially the water that's coming from the condenser that has already removed that exhaust heat in order to make that steam condense is quite warm. We have to cool it. So what we do is it gets pumped to the top of the cooling tower and then it falls down through the cooling tower. The air is drawn across it. This fan or a fan like it in the rest of the tower essentially make air get sucked into the tower and exhausted out through those shrouds that you see at the top. Now that has the same effect if you came out of a swimming pool in the summertime on a cool day, why do you feel cool? Well, that water is evaporating off your skin and it makes you feel cool. Right. To a larger extent, that's what's happening here. That water is being cooled by evaporation as like the air gets drawn across. A massive swamp cooler. That's basically yeah. what it is. Yeah. Right. And then that water that falls to the bottom is now cooler and we bring that back into the plant again. Wow, Andrew, how about that? This has got to be the way forward. It has to be. Everything is evolving. Everything seems to me like this whole energy thing, which potentially is a crisis, because in America we're importing so much resource from outside the, the country, and it's right here in our backyard. So today, we got to experience a little bit of what it takes you to get some sustainable energy. And that's the end product, right there. High voltage, rock and roll. You can hear it. Beautiful sound, Andrew. Beautiful sound. Sustainable energy, Andrew. It's a way to go.